So find the value of a that will make f of x continuous at x equals 1. And f of x equals, it's piecewise, it equals x minus 2 whenever x is less than 1. And it equals some a, which we're trying to figure out, times x minus 3 squared when x is greater than or equal to 1. So this, really quickly, visually, I'm thinking to myself, this is some graph. Let's do this in red. This is some graph right here that goes through negative 2, and it's got a slope of 1. So it's doing something like this, but it's cutting. It's really starting only here. Did I do that right? 1. No, I graphed that wrong. Sorry, I graphed that wrong. Stupid mistake. This is the y-intercept. Negative 2 is the y-intercept. So it's going through negative 2, and it's got a slope of 1. So it's doing going like this, but it's only defined when x is less than or equal to 1. So at this point right here, I need to erase everything to the right of that, and that's really where it starts. And it goes to the left. And the, cause, because it says that it's defined where x is less than 1, and mm -hmm. it's an open circle because okay. it doesn't say equal to. Now I'm going to have some parabola here, which has a... Um, uh, notice that this negative 3 right here, that means that the x-coordinate of the vertex is at 3. So 1, 2, 3. The x-coordinate of the vertex is at 3, but this a right here is going to determine how, it, how steep it is going up or down. Mm -hmm. So it might be something, I might have to do something like this or maybe something like this, but I've got to try to figure out something. So the vertex is right here, and it touches exactly at that point seems really complicated but it's not because all you have to do you don't even have to look at that picture it's just an algebra problem all you have to do is plug in one plug one into here to figure out one minus two is negative one right mm -hmm. see that right there i already kind of figured that out before all i need to do is figure out what this when i plug one into here what do i want that to be i want that whole thing to be what negative one also negative one so plug in a times plug one in to there one minus three squared and I want that whole thing to equal negative one negative one this is an algebra problem and now I solve it negative two squared so I've got negative two squared equals negative one times some a that means four a equals negative one which means a equals negative one four a equals negative one-fourth, and when I plug negative one-fourth in, I see, oh yeah, that'll work. It's going to be opening down. It's going to be doing like this. And that's my graph.